Atlanta. The Sugar Plum Fairy is not immune to the coronavirus. <laughs> but that won't stop her from sharing her love of ballet with the world. Here's how the Nutcracker lives on this holiday season. The Sugar Plum Fairy. She's cheeky and good-natured at first, but get to know her and you might discover a little sass. Her character, she's sweet and she's kind. She's very loving and caring. I think she's a little bit cocky, you know, because she's the queen of the land of sweets, so she kind of rules over everyone. <laughs> This fairy is good with beginners, though. Yeah, so if you, like, squeeze your butt a little bit and, like, make them go down. So if you plie, you come up. <laughs> it's close. Uh, and she knows how to work a Mac. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have another person joining. Stuart, step way back here. Can you guys still hear me? Thumbs up. I mean, this is the first time in 23 years that we haven't had the Nutcracker, and I mean, I had no people that have been coming for 20 years straight. It's like their family tradition. It starts off Christmas. It starts off that Christmas joy. Three-time Sugar Plum Fairy Lauren Frost is, of course, disappointed. She won't be able to grace the stage in the Nutcracker this year, but CU Ballet is making the most of it. And we go here, and we push, and we push. So we set up the Zoom shortly after COVID hit and all our shows got canceled because we figured it would be a way to kind of connect with the younger generation and have, you know, a lot of fun with them in a safe way. Still coloring. Still coloring? Okay, that's fine. Take your time. We're in no hurry. It's been really hard, but challenges are always put in place for people to overcome them, and that's what we're trying to do. As Lauren teaches over Zoom, there's a dancer in the next room over. Moving to the music we all know and love. So the Nutcracker this year is, um, it's more of a preparation in-house um, and a video performance. So each year we have these dancers that are coming up and they are auditioning and um, preparing themselves for the next year. So that basically has continued. We've been able to rehearse socially distanced with masks um, and just basically keeping everything moving forward as far as um, the actual variations within the Nutcracker. So we've rehearsed those, we're gonna record those, and hopefully next year we'll have a live performance and we'll be even better than last year. You think I can make it as a ballerina? With those socks, I think you can do anything you want, girl. One red one, one green one. <laughs> Perfect for ballet. And in Christmas time, too. But we also need to talk, did you squeeze your butt cheeks? I did. She told you to do that. going to be sore, Heather. This is really tough. <laughs> I'm just, can I just say, like, watching ballet live, I hadn't done that since I saw the Nutcracker in Atlanta years ago. It is just an amazing sport and piece of art. I, I just, I'm blown away by these guys. I so. know. It's fantastic. And coming up, we're going to actually have our, our ballerina in studio. I see her over there. <laughs> she's looking good. She's still in costume. And she's not squeezing her butt cheeks right now. <laughs>